Hello, my name is John Bartholomew. In the next four minutes, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is for you to create an Instant Atlas interactive dynamic report. This is a report where you combine statistics that you may have into an interactive dashboard, which usually contains a map. So what I have here is the Instant Atlas dynamic report publisher. I will need data in Excel. And I will also need uh, an industry standard shapefile. Now, the theme of my report is infectious diseases, and specifically here, the recent uh, influenza A H1N1 outbreak in Mexico. And what I want to show in this report are the day by day cases. So, what I do first is use a very simple wizard driven process in the Instant Atlas Publisher to create my report step by step. I can choose different templates. These are different templates. Uh, these can be double maps, area profiles, but in this case I'm going to choose to create a single map template with a time series and a ranked bar chart. So I've selected my template. I hit next. Now I need to select a shape file. In this case the state boundaries of Mexico. I check to make sure that this data here using a is using a fake feature code that coincides with the codes that are in my Excel spreadsheet. And if they weren't, I would paste the correct codes into my spreadsheet to make sure that the statistics align correctly with their geography. This one is OK. I'm going to hit Next. And the first time around, I'm just going to publish a, a fictitious data file just to make sure that my report is working correctly. And then I'm going to hit next. I can here add a contextual geography, which might be, for example, municipal boundaries um, or county boundaries. In this case, I don't want an additional layer. So I'm going to skip that step. Uh, I have the option here of adding a background map. Um, I don't need one at this time, but it could add context if you wanted to include um, a background map uh, for your audience. I hit next and I'm going to give um, my base geography a name. We'll call it the States of Mexico. And my report influenza AH1N1 Mexico. And I can change the color profile. Let's choose a green for this particular report. Hit next. Choose the folder in which I want to save my report and hit publish. I'm going to hit unpack report now into that same folder and that will take a little while. And meanwhile, let's look at the data once again. Now here I only have one theme and one indicator, but there's pretty much no limit to the number of indicators that I can have in a single report. Um, what you get with the software is a special add-in which enables you, for example in Excel, to export the data in the right XML format, which Instant Atlas needs. So assuming you've already prepared your data in this way, um, using um, your indicator columns um, and uh, geographies organized in rows, um, you're ready to export the data. I just got word from my uh, publisher that the report is ready, so I'm going to hit view, and this will launch my browser and hopefully show me an interactive report with a single map template containing fictitious data. This shouldn't take long to load. And you'll see here that for the moment everything seems to be working in the normal way. I'm happy with that. I can choose other color palettes. So this report seems to be working well. So I'm going to go back to Excel and I'm going to export the data from my spreadsheet into the same folder that I created the report in. So I save that. And while it's working, I'm going to pull up the report again. And as soon as I get a signal from Excel that the data file has been correctly prepared, which I just received. 
I can in fact refresh this report and hopefully it will load with my data. Fingers crossed. So that's as easy as it is to create an interactive dynamic report. Here you see it now containing my statistics. Um, I'm going to perhaps choose now the highest uh, the, the state with the highest number of cases, in this case uh, the uh, federal district of Mexico. And you will see here a time series chart which has the cases cumulatively. If I want to take a closer look at that, I can maximize it and so on. With a bit of work then with the designer, um, if you're a perfectionist, uh, you may want to spend longer on this. You can then create a report that looks like this. This one includes uh, palettes and backgrounds and specifications for each of the elements uh, which meet the needs of your audience. So that's it. It's simple. Please try it for yourself. And for more information on other parts of the software, please look at the other videos that uh, will be presented to you after this presentation. Thank you.